All right, hello bourbon lovers. My name is Keith and this is the bourbon shop. As you can see, I have larceny here. Uh, this is larceny barrel proof. Now, this is not the, I guess, special releases that come out yearly, like the A123 or the A124 that should be out there um, right now. But this is the standard barrel proof that you can should be able to find on your shelves um, uh, for the most part. The special releases, sometimes they hit your area, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes they come out in January, sometimes Feb or March. So it's kind of haphazard. And if you can find those, fine, but you should be able to find the Larceny Barrel Proof. Now, this is this one is 124.4 um, proof. And Larceny normally runs around 60 bucks for the Barrel Proof, six to eight years age. I believe the mash bill is 68% corn. Um, I got it written down here. Let's see, 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malty barley, okay? So, uh, no rye in, in this one, folks. This is uh, one of my favorite wheated bourbons. So, I actually uh, just did a video not too long ago, and I listed the regular 94 proof larceny as an excellent gateway to uh, those who are starting a collection. If you want to um, see what wheated bourbon is all about, which I am a big fan of wheated bourbon. Of course, this is uh, coming in from Heaven Hill, so it's in a real good company. So um, let's just get right into the nose, and um, I'll let you know what I get out of this. Now, I, right off, right off the bat, I get a lot of nice honey notes maybe like a graham cracker and you really get the sense that this is uh, 124 because it's, it's really hitting my nose pretty good You get a lot of sweetness with this, rich, um, some real rich notes. Um, maybe some buttery caramel or something like that. Just real rich. You get the sense of maybe some nice dark fruit. Maybe like a raisin. Maybe like some really sweet, sweet um, chocolate. Yeah, that's it's a, it's a really, really good nose. And um, maybe some slight oak in this as well. It's pretty good. All right. Now to the fun part, we're gonna go to the palate. Now I'm thinking about the 94 proof. And it, it's just such a difference when that proof <laughs> goes up. And this is what, 124.4. You get tons of sweetness with this. Not uh, a little cure sweet, you know, like just nice, rich, uh, sweet, maybe like uh, cream brulee or something like that. Maybe some nice toffee. Um, you get like this cola taste, like a, a flat cola, Coca Cola taste, which I get in, in in bourbons every once in a while. But you get a lot of uh, you get some spice. It's probably coming from that proof, but not spice like in a rice spice because there's no rye in here. But there's something. Um, Maybe like a, uh, a nutmeg rye. 
uh, <laughs> a nutmeg spice that's coming through. Man, it's, it's good. Um, you get the dark fruit for sure. And I'm just talking because that finish is really, really lingering in the mouthfeel. Of course, I always say with <laughs> weeded bourbon, man, that it has that creamy mouthfeel that's coming through with it that I absolutely love. This is my first drink or sip of the day and it's coming in at 124. So it's, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of a bite for me. I should have uh, primed my palate with something weaker, but let's go in for another sip. Yeah, this is, this is really, this is really, really, really good. Um, if you're a fan of of uh, weeded bourbon, you really want to try this because as far as um, bear proof and high proof bourbons, you don't have a large selection of weeded bourbons out there. Um, I mean, you, you get the Maker's Mark and the Weller, if, you know, if you can find it. But overall, there's not a whole lot. I think... Um, I think Green River may have one out now that's a, a high proof weeded uh, bourbon. So I'm going to try to get my hands on that. Um, but they're not as vast as, you know, the bourbon content with the rye. So uh, this is an excellent purchase. I think it, it, it runs 60 bucks um, and it's worth every penny of it. I, I think even maybe I would pay just a little bit more, um, you know, maybe 10 bucks over. But for the most part, I can find it right at MSRP. So I would give this a complete thumbs up. So if you've tried this, the Larceny uh, Barrel Proof coming in at 124, uh, let me know how you feel about it. Then the more I, mm, the more I, <laughs> I sip on this, now that I'm coming with this caramel, caramel popcorn. A type taste and that creamy buttery mouthfeel just getting better and better and I might be picking up instead of raisins maybe some dark uh, dark cherries or berries or something like that but that chocolate is still there so yeah I think this is something that can open up and as you sip on it and enjoy it and relax with it um, you're going to be taken away with it. So, yeah, I, I really, really recommend that if you like High Proof, um, this is the one you want to try. It's a good gateway into High Proof uh, bourbon because of the flavor. So, um, thank you for joining me. As always, if you um, wouldn't mind, smash that like button for me and hit that subscribe button so that um, you can see the more content coming up. And as I always say, the best way to enjoy your bourbon is to drink it the way you like to drink it. The best way to drink it is in a responsible way, which means sipping in those shots. See you next time on The Bourbon Shop. Yeah, that's good.